All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how lucid dreaming pills work and the neurochemistry associated with those and basically how you can use supplements and everyday things and even things you can buy on Amazon, you know, fairly cheaply to boost your lucid dreams and make you experience more things, you know, basically to have a better experience of lucid dreaming. So I'm also gonna talk about how you can boost your norepinephrine levels, which is something that most people, I've not seen this being spoken about much in the lucid dreaming community and it has, I would say, as much of an impact, if not more of an impact, than raising your acetylcholine levels and stopping your body breaking down ACH in your body. So, so before we get into this video, do make sure to subscribe and uh, turn on notifications because I do post weekly lucid dreaming videos as well as podcasts and everything like that. So. Let's get into it. There are two things you really need to know before you watch this video or listen to this podcast if you're watching, if you're listening to it there. Uh, number one is that you should always do your own research before trying any supplement or pill or, or you know, vitamin or any, anything that you're gonna ingest. You should always do your own research and in some cases you should not take the thing. If you are taking other supplements, if you're taking other medication, uh, there's a good chance that it will. one of these things that I'm going to mention in this video might interact badly with whatever you're already taking. So for that reason, you should make sure that you do your own research. And if you're not sure, just ask your GP or your doctor, um, or at the very least, do your own research online. And you can do that just by you know doing a very quick search, like um, Hooperzine A interactions with whatever you're currently taking. It shouldn't take you long, but you should definitely do that, that step. And number two is that if you do click on any of the links in my description, they are affiliate links, which means I will get uh, you know a small commission um, for recommending those to you. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it's just a way of like supporting my channel and you know uh, helping me make these videos for you guys. So, <clears throat> so with that long introduction, here are, here is how lucid dreaming pills work for lucid dreaming. So there are two main chemicals or compounds that are responsible for lucid dreaming in your in your brain, in the actual chemistry of your brain, and that is acetylcholine and norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is what helps you feel like you're in control, feel like you're in the you know in the driver's seat, as it were, uh, when you're actually in a dream, and it's what's going to help give you that stable feeling of yes, this is my dream, I am deciding what to do here. Acetylcholine, however. That's more associated with your memories and I guess you could say the building blocks of the dream and of self-awareness. So norepinephrine is like your, I guess your control chemical, your driver's seat chemical. Acetylcholine is more like your memory booster, your, you know, I guess you could say bringing in the structure of the dream, creating the dream scenes from your memories and from different uh, internal blueprints you have of how the world works and basically stitching it all together and helping you remember it. And so most lucid dreaming pills or supplements will focus on your acetylcholine levels because I guess that's probably the one that's been studied the most and it's been shown that if you have higher acetylcholine levels in your, bl in your blood and in your body, you will generally be able to have a wide range of lucid dreaming benefits. So like you'll be able to remember more dreams, you will be able, more likely to be lucid, you will you know, have more vivid dreams and the list of benefits goes on. Not much has been done in the way of norepinephrine, and I'm not sure why, but for now all we know is that acetylcholine is one of the main, I guess you could say, the, the most widely researched and accepted uh, lucid dreaming pills and supplements, or one of the most widely accepted things that will have some sort of impact or difference on your lucid dreams and on your dreams in general. And for acetylcholine, there's a number of ways you can actually boost your acetylcholine or your ACH levels quite easily and most of the time with no side effects. And without going into too much detail on this, there are different ways you can do that. You can either directly take acetylcholine as a supplement, which will obviously boost the levels in your system, or you can take what's called acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. And that is basically something that's gonna, so whenever you take acetylcholine or, or produce acetylcholine, whatever, um, it has what's called a half-life, which is the time it takes for half of this, the compound to be digested and, and basically eliminated by your body. And this time ranges anywhere from acetylco for acetylcholine from four to 12 hours. It really depends on your body and how much you've actually taken or how much you had in your body to begin with. So what you can do is you can take an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, which is basically gonna slow down how fast your, your body eliminates the acetylcholine that's already in your system. And so for a lucid dreamer, the best thing to do is to not only to take acetylcholine and you know, have high levels naturally, uh, but also to take something, uh, it, whether, whatever that substance is, um, that will stop your body breaking down and eliminating acetylcholine. 
and there are various different supplements. And by the way, I'm gonna to link to all of the ones I can think of in the description. Um, so if you wanna go and check them out, you can see you know, like what's the cheapest one. I'll try and put the best options near the top, and then as you go down, you'll have different options depending on what's available in your area, and the price and things like that. And uh, yeah, so you can see it all in the description, but that's what your goal would be. Your goal is to not only raise acetylcholine levels, but it's also to stop your body eliminating that acetylcholine for as long as possible, using what's called acetylcholine esterase inhibitors. And I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but that's, yeah, you don't really need to know how it works, you just need to know that ACH is good, and you also wanna have something in your system which is gonna stop your body destroying the ACH levels. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about how to boost your norepinephrine levels. Now this is something, by the way, that has as much of an impact, if not more than an impact, than your acetylcholine levels. Norepinephrine is very important. And norepinephrine is basically gonna give you that control. It's gonna make you feel like you're in control and aware of the dream. So it's basically like your rocket fuel. Acetylcholine is the building blocks. You know, you need that to, become, to boost your REM sleep and everything like that. Acetylcholine is like the building block and then norepinephrine is where you're really gonna start taking control and having, you know, a stable, vivid, lucid dream. So there are a number of ways you can actually boost your norepinephrine levels. You can't easily take a supplement for it unless you're looking at something like DH, I think it's called DHEA, but it's quite hard to get. Uh, it's, depending on where you live, it's actually quite hard to get that supplement because of whatever reason, it's regulated heavily. So, so here is how you can boost your norepinephrine levels to lucid dream more. These are things that everybody should be doing every single day, regardless of if you're trying to lucid dream or not. So here they are, okay? Number one, Every single day, you need to get 30 minutes of exercise. What that will do is it will raise your endorphins, which is like the feel-good chemical. It will raise your levels of dopamine, which is going to make you less depressed, basically. I'm, I'm simplifying this stuff for people who don't really care about the, uh, the neuroscience of all of this. And importantly, it's going to raise your norepinephrine levels, which is going to make you more likely to lucid dream. And then when you do lucid dream, it's going to be more likely to be vivid, and the list goes on, the list of benefits goes on as well as it boosts your immune system, which is you know important at this time. There's a whole bunch of different things that it will do for you. But in this context, you know what we're actually talking about now, it's gonna make it much more likely that you will lucid dream. Number two is to get more sunlight. I think it's not gonna come as a surprise to, to many of you that you need to be getting more sunlight in your life. Uh, depending on where you live, that's obviously gonna be harder or easier. Where I live at the moment, um, there's not much sunlight coming out, so, you know, it, it kind of depends where you live, but if you if you live somewhere sunny, where the, the weather is good, there's really no excuse not to be out every single day for at least half an hour, right? And by the way, you can combine the exercise you have with the sunlight exposure. So you can work out in the sun, or just go for a, a cycle or a run, and then that way you're going to get you're going to combine those two things. If you want to save even more time, you can combine those two things with listening to you know one of my podcast episodes. <laughs> No, I'm just joking, but uh, you could you could learn something during that time as well. You could be learning or listening to a podcast or learning a language or something uh, while you do those two things, while you actually exercise and get sunlight exposure, get those lumens in. So yeah, doing those two things will increase your norepinephrine levels. Uh, and as well as that, it will increase your dopamine levels, your serotonin. All of those things, all of those hormones are very important for um, lucid dreaming function dreaming and higher brain function, okay? They're gonna raise your frequency, they're gonna make you happier. It's gonna do all of those things. Now, if you still want a boost after all of that, then you can take something called phenylalanine, okay? Bit of a mouthful, I know. And this is kind of like, um, like a building block, I guess you could say. It, it's really unclear exactly how it impacts your norepinephrine levels, but we do know that it does give them some sort of boost. If you really want to boost your norepinephrine, as well as taking, you know, hupazine, galantamine, whatever, uh, you really want to give yourself the best chance of lucid dreaming, you can take phenylalanine as well. To be honest, I would actually not advise doing all of that. And uh, here's what I'm gonna get into, you know, what I wanna say in a second. Um, but phenylalanine does also lower your chance of depression by raising your dopamine levels. So it kind of has some other benefits as well. But like I've said at the beginning, research it for yourself, look into the benefits and you know the pros and cons. Okay, so lastly, I wanna end on this because I think this is really important. So two things, okay, first thing, any of the supplements I've mentioned in this video, you can find in the description. I've linked to the best place for you to get them, you know, the best reviewed place, the hopefully the cheapest place as well, um, where you can get these supplements. 
I will also link to a blog post I wrote comparing all of the lucid dreaming pills uh, and supplements and things like that that you might want to look at. So that's in the description now. Second thing, before you click on any of that and before you buy any supplement, I really would encourage you to learn how to lucid dream properly. Uh, before, you, before you try any of this stuff, before you go out and spend loads of money, because here's the thing, if you waste your money, uh, and I do say waste because it will be a waste, if you waste your money on supplements, on pills, on you know all of this stuff, books, uh, but you don't actually learn the basics and practice the techniques, you've wasted your time and your money because you're not going to lucid dream. And what's going to happen is you're going you're to have this shelf full of empty bottles and you know books that you've read once and, and put away. If you don't learn how to lucid dream properly, you know, from the beginning, then all of that's a waste of money, okay? Um, I've said this before, I truly believe that you should learn the fundamentals first before you try and spend money on supplements and, you know, try and give yourself like a boost, you know, a hack or, you know, basically what you're trying to do, like any human, you're trying to save time, you're trying to make it easier for yourself, but I can promise you now, it will not make it easier um, in the long run. Yeah, you might get a few random lucid dreams by taking you know, loads of galantamine and stuff, but if you don't learn how to actually lucid dream properly, then it's gonna be very fleeting at best. Okay, you, you might have one lucid dream, you might even have five lucid dreams, but you're, because you haven't learned the skill, as soon as your galantamine runs out, you stop having lucid dreams, and you, because you've become, de you've become dependent on that to have your lucid dreams. Um, and I know there's going to be some of you there. Come on, there's going to be some of you who don't care about that. You just you are happy to spend thirty dollars on a bottle of galantamine if it means that you get one or two lucid dreams a month. I get that. I, I really do get that. But if you want to develop the skill, not only will you save loads of money in the long term, but you will be it's more fulfilling and rewarding if you actually learn how to do it, uh, and instead of just relying on having random lucid dreams. So I would highly encourage you to learn how to lucid dream properly. And there's loads of ways you could do that. Uh, I'm not going to get into exactly you know, what you should do, but if you want to learn how to lucid dream, just please check out my other videos, watch the other videos. I do have actually uh, playlists and I have, you know, just check it out. It's all on my channel. There's hundreds of videos on my channel because I love talking about this stuff, as you've probably realized. <laughs> so, and by the way, if you do want um, a boost, if you do want to guarantee your lucid dream, uh, I would highly recommend, of course, you to check out my bootcamp course. I truly believe in it, and it's got some pretty good reviews now. I've added actually dozens of new reviews and you know people's stories. People go through this, they're skeptical maybe at the beginning, they think, how can it guarantee you lucid dreams? Maybe it won't work for me. I get it, people are skeptical. Um, but then those same people email me a week later saying, wow, you know, I've lucid dreams for the first time, or you know this has worked for me. You can read them all on the, on the page. Um, so yeah, just go to howtolucid.com forward slash bootcamp, or just click in the, there's always links in the description. Everything I mentioned, there's always useful links and resources and other videos. So I would highly encourage you to actually look at the description. If you've never read it before, if you've never clicked on my description, you've instead just gone onto other videos, have a look at the description now because there's some interesting things there. And as always, leave a comment letting me know what you think. I will try and reply to all of them and I'll see you next time.